The risk is not worth the gain when you're taken to sea. The, the sea is an unforgiving environment, and often the vessels that these individuals are transiting on are not seaworthy. And that is a very dangerous combination, which could very easily end in disaster. Weather, especially in our area, can go from flat calm to extremely high seas very quickly. And without the proper safety equipment, communications gear, and know-how of being a sailor, you are putting a lot of people at risk. This year, we have seen a slight uptick in the number of migrants that have taken to the sea to um, come into the United States illegally. So we have more uh, aircraft over, overhead to locate these vessels, and we have more surface assets with our partner agencies on the water to intercept these vessels when they come across. And that's one of the main reasons why we keep pushing, uh, please do not take to the sea. This is one of the hardest missions that the Coast Guard does as far as um, emotionally, because no one wants to see people suffer. No one does. We'd see the suffering. We would seek the type of families they have. But, but we also have to understand there's a legal way and there's an illegal way. We've had people um, killed this year, numerous people, on accidents both in the Bahamas and in the Florida Straits where vessels sunk, vessels ran aground, and multiple deaths resulted from those incidents. And again, taking to sea is definitely not the answer because that is probably one of the most dangerous ways to get into the United States. So our goal is to keep that from happening and to make them safe, we have to interdict them and send them back to their country. And that will prevent the pull factor of other uh, boats taking to the sea, going that same route and putting them and their families at risk. So although it is heart-wrenching when we pick them up and deliver them back to their country, we have to realize the greater good of the people that we're actually saving by preventing folks from coming through that method.